Hey, what's going on guys? Gaz here and welcome to my mouse key guide. Now I'm mumbling again on this one and talking quite quietly, but that is because it is 20 past 1 in the morning here for me. But anyway, irrelevant stuff. Um, this is a guide that's going to show you how you can set up your mouse keys on Windows 7. And this is for the pure and sole uh, reason of dropping items which you'll be gaining from resource skills. Now, um, when you train a resource skill, um, a lot of the time you want a power level um, and, to, and that basically means that you're not banking the item which you're collecting um, so what that basically means is you're dropping it so for example here I'll just give an example of what a mouse key most of you guys will already know what a mouse key is so I'm just going to show the people who don't know what it is so you can see I've got a few items in my inventory here and it's basically just the process of quickly dropping items so like that there and they're all on the floor um, so I'm just going to teach you guys how to do that really simply today okay so to start out on this as I say this is only for Windows 7 I'm not entirely sure um, about the settings for XP or Vista or 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 Mac or anything like that this is purely and solely for Windows 7 because that's the only operating system that I know it works on so what you're going to want to do first off is this is totally nothing to do with RS you're going to want to go down to start and you're going to want to go to control panel and this is going to bring up obviously your control panel you're going to want to click on ease of access ease of access center always in this section a little woman will tell you something in a robot voice you're going to want to click on make the keyboard easier to use and this will bring up your options here what we're interested in here is mouse keys and sticky keys so first off you're going to want to click that turn on mouse keys and you're going to want to set up your mouse keys now basically you just need to tick everything I have ticked here so you need to turn on mouse keys ticked you will turn on mouse keys with left alt and left shift plus numlock ticked and you need this display warning message when turning the setting on ticked um, this pointer speed here we can fix um, we, I will talk about that at a later date this basically controls how far the mouse jumps I'll get into that a bit later um, you need this hold down control to speed up and shift to slow down ticked and you're also going to want mouse keys when numlock is off OK, so you're going to want to click Apply, then OK on that one. Then you need to turn on your sticky keys and set up your sticky keys. Now what sticky keys are is basically they hold down the control button for you. Now for mouse keys to work, control needs to be constantly held down. Um, but obviously you don't want to be doing that with your finger, so this is what sticky keys do. So to make this work, you need sticky keys obviously turned on here. You need to turn on sticky keys when shift is pressed five times on, that's very useful. Um, and display a warning message when turning this on is also very useful so you know when they're going on and off um, and you want all of these options ticked so you want your lock modifier keys when pressed twice in a row ticked turn off sticky keys when two keys pressed at once ticked play a sound when modifier keys are pressed ticked and display the sticky keys icon on the taskbar also ticked okay so now you have those ticked um, you're just going to need to check your mouse settings so to do this you just need to go down into your um, start menu again and in your search programs and files I know you guys can't see this but I'll just tell you what to do it's, it's pretty simple uh, on the little search bar you just need to type in mouse on that one and that will bring up your mouse under control panel which is here um, now here we have our pointer options now for all the methods I'm going to show you today you're going to want your mouse and dead center here um, and that is your pointer speed now I'm not entirely sure if this makes a difference but just to confirm if it does put your mouse speed there then I'll know for a fact that all of these work okay so now moving on to the mouse keys themselves obviously I have mine activated as I just showed you um, so as you guys will have noticed we we clicked press shift five times to activate sticky keys so you're going to want to go ahead and do that first off I've already done that I can actually turn my mouse keys off now um, just to see if I can get them turned on again so let's just double check if they're turned on now so you just want to want to kind of spam click spam click your shift button um, so it says five times it's normally more just spam, spam click it so here's my shift pressed five times do you want to turn on sticky keys uh, ignore all that crap just press yes and my sticky keys are now on so now the next move you're going to want to do is you're going to want to double tap your control button so one two that's on and if I wanted to turn my, my mouse keys off to talk I press them once so it's twice for on once for off 
Um, so when you double press it, your mouse keys are now on. And as I start over on my number pad, pressing my 2525, as you can see, my mouse is jumping about. So a little information on the number pad, that is what you obviously use to uh, to control your mouse keys. If you didn't know, it's the number pad. You need a number pad to use the mouse keys. Um, so basically what we've done here is we've turned our 2 into making our mouse jump down, and we've turned our 5 into a click. So now I'm pressing number 5 on my number pad, and I'm clicking all over the place. Um, and I'm pressing 2, and this is you can see this is controlling my mouse here. Um, so I've made my number pad into controlling my mouse. So as you can see, I can move my mouse around here. It's doing... Um, a, it's jumping a certain distance to what I've set it to um, in this case I've set it to go down to drop um, so you may be wondering how I'm right clicking well that is just on the mouse so I've still got my right hand on my mouse of course and that's where my right click is coming from then I'm pressing 2 and 5 to drop the gold door 2, 5, so 2, 5, right click 2, 5, right click 2, 5, right click 2, 5 and that's dropping those for me um, so basically that's all there is to it, it does take a bit of practice, at first you may be going like 2-5 right clicking by accident, you may be getting it, the order mixed up, um, but basically while you're power leveling, while you're gaining the resource, as soon as something pops into your inventory you can just drop it and click again. Um, so say for example this is a, this is, a, this is an ore or a concentrated ore, um, that would basically mean Sorry, I'm a bit distracted by that call. Cool. Uh, say this was a concentrated ore, so as I've got one into my inventory, I could drop it and just click uh, mine again. Another one comes in my inventory, drop it, mine. Um, and it may also be a good idea to resize your screen to a much smaller size, so you can, uh, so your inventory would be closer to be in this area here. But anyway, so you guys now may be wondering, well, that's all good for these gold ores, iron ores, or salmon. But what about when it comes to items that have that have the uh, the extra options on them? So you can see here, if you want to be doing some um, barbarian fishing, they've got the gut option there. So if I have my mouse set to the same as gold ore, you can see it jumps down to use. Same with the logs. Um, so that's no good. So popping up on screen now are the settings that you're going to want to drop those um, to drop those items. So they'll be popping up on your screen now. Um, so there are the settings you need to change your mouse keys to to get that to drop those items. Everything else will stay exactly the same. And then obviously you've got your logs as well, which have the craft and the light option. So your oak logs, willows, maple, antique logs, and any other logs with the two craft and light options will have um, will, will jump. We need to be jumped down even further. Um, so the, the settings you'll need to do these items are on screen now. Okay, so that's pretty much all there is to mouse keys, guys. I'm just going to give you an example of them in action now. So over to that live commentary now. Okay, guys, so before I show the um, mouse keys in action, I just want to remind you guys that... Uh, on the clip before this one I forgot to show what the mouse key settings were for dropping normal items such as the ore and the salmon um, so all you need to do is copy those settings which I had on the beginning of the video when I was initially setting up the mouse keys uh, just copy those settings for anything that doesn't have any uh, sort of extra um, options just use drop and examine uh, copy the settings at the beginning of the video Alright, so as you can see now guys, I've resized my screen, and that's why that there would have been borders, but I've decided to spice things up a little bit with some amazing Photoshop work to fill in those gaps. Um, but anyway, so as you can see here, my, scre my uh, screen has been resized to as small as it can possibly go with the inventory pushed over this far. Actually, if I make it any smaller, my inventory doesn't move. So, ooh. So, that's as small as I can have it with my inventory moved over. So now... Um, these are the arctic pines, I'm going to be doing a guide on these shortly for wood cutting, but anyway that's irrelevant for this one. All I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these, and every time my log comes into my inventory I'm going to use the mouse keys to drop it and straight back on the tree. Just like that. And you don't lose hardly any time at all um, of wood cutting, you're losing like two ticks worth of wood cutting to drop these logs down here. Um, and this is probably the quickest possible way to train wood cutting, if you combine this with my inferno ads. Um, and if you combine it with the wood, juju wood cutting potions, um, wood cutting hands, etc. So as you can see, this method works not only for wood cutting. You could do this for mining concentrated ores or even normal ores. You can do this for power fishing um, at barb at barbarian. Um, 
uh, Otto's Grotto. Um, you can do this any place which is worth power living in, teak logs. You can do this. Use mouse keys to drop the log um, and then to hit back on to chop it in this case or to fish or to mine again and um, as quick as possible. Um, and that will be the quickest XP, a lot quicker than banking. Now, as you can see here, sometimes there will be mistakes, but you can easily recover from those. Um, it doesn't matter where you click on the log, it will always drop you down to the drop option. So as long as you only move your mouse to right click, and make sure you press 5 before you move your mouse uh, back onto the tree, you'll be absolutely fine. So I hope this guide helped, guys. Um, please drop me any questions. I know I'm not the best at explaining things, especially at 2 in the morning. Um, uh, please drop me any questions at all. Um, and other than that, guys, take care. See you later.